RV right now to start our first demo day. The RV is parked at Brandon's house, so I just had to go home for a little bit this morning, get a few things. So I'm on my way back there now, and I started the demolition. Um, I'm doing it by myself today because Brandon has work until about 8 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm excited, a little bit nervous, and a little bit intimidated by the amount of work that has to get done, especially just because we've never done a project in this magnitude before. So it's a lot of work. Um, I'm gonna get some footage today of the interior, what it looks right now, though before, before we even touch anything. Um, I'll let you guys see what it looks like inside. It's really bad. We went out and we bought some hazmat suits last night because there are some leaks in the RV, which means that there's water damage in it. And with that, do most likely so we just got some suits as a precaution just to be safe just in case um, there is anything in there that we really shouldn't be breathing in or just being exposed to for too long we're most likely gonna have to be like rebuilding and starting it from scratch which I'm actually very excited for because I kind of like the idea of making it completely our own okay so I'm gonna give a little tour of the inside of our RV it's very, very messy and dirty and gross on the inside, just to warn you. All right, so I'll start inside now. Um, but my, my camera, my front-facing camera on my phone doesn't work, so I have to stay in selfie mode. So I'll try to get everything in it as I can. Here is the main entrance, walking in. Okay, just walked inside. Here is the dinette piece. That is the bathroom right here. I'll show you guys. That's looking into the back of the bus here. So here is the kitchen. <laughs> this is probably the worst of it right there. I really can't walk too far back there right now. So there's the front up there. These are the captain scenes. We're going to be getting rid of those, but there's our overhead bed and the driver's seats. Front. Keep on moving till the first days are done. Keeping it on till the day stay strong Rolling till the night time blazes on All along I keep singing my song I say, this phase is always Sometimes I get so crazy But just know that I'll always stay Cause you're my light through the haze It's time for a champion To the soul of the land Men the heart from the sea and sand. Come along and take my hand We'll walk together Walk forever officially killing me um it's not even that I mean it's 92 degrees out today so it's hot but it's just being in a suit I just unzipped it now I'm like a sweaty mess I need to like <laughs> air out and cool down I have enough energy I'm not tired I'm not sore I'm getting things done in there I'm getting things out it's just I just get overwhelmed with the heat I was actually feeling like dizzy and nauseous before because of how hot I was just in this in the RV, I have the doors open. There's just no airflow in it. So, pile's growing a little bit more. 
makes me happy, I'll go inside. Um, another challenge that I'm having right now is this. The wires. There's wires. Oh, my face is bright red. There's wires just within all of the wood in here. And it's hard to get out because right now all I'm doing is taking the back of the hammer to to get into the holes of the wood to get the wires freed. Um, so I was able to get that section out. Can't get the wires out of this um, like vent fan for over the stove. There's a whole bunch of wires up in here just like interwoven with the wood. Can't seem to get those out so I can take down the wood. So yeah, two biggest challenges today for demo day number two is the heat in this suit <laughs> and the wires. Um, a little bit of progress from earlier. Back bedroom is finally looking a little cleared. Next step is going to be to remove this whole base. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with that. It's just not budging. Um, so I might move on to this back room here and get away from the wires for a little bit so I don't go insane. That's demo day number two so far and the pile is growing.